silly. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, here's the daily crumb to help you along Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. A bit lighter morning for me. Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingish Nive, Mijaki Quinn, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings, right here too. And how goes it with you? I took my brains out. It's a nice little wave happening today. I got to go to work again. And, well, Christy Cushions again because, like, I sold out uh, yesterday. Sold out of the product. So hopefully they got more today. Or I won't be. I'll be going up there to get them to sign my cancellation form. And I'll get paid anyway. Not for the full day. Not for the full six hours. There we go. So right and i have my children home my girl's not feeling well today so she's here which is great because i've missed her i've missed her very much because one is content with oneself one doesn't need others approval oh didn't we just talk about this huh because one accepts oneself the whole world accepts him or her Lutzau. bring your attention to your body where are you holding tension Take a few moments to relax and release. And this is what we've been doing in the somatics too. This is a 13, it's a four. It's to restore that balance, to get our body to feel comfortable with us again. So when you feel that contraction, go into it. What are you here? Why are you here? What have you helped me with, right? Tightening up for me, keeping my shoulders in. As I was younger, I was hiding my development. So my shoulders got used to holding this way because I saw, oh, it was either that Somebody might reach out and grab them. Or, you know, the girls are saying, oh, yeah, you think you're so hot, you just want to stick your chest out everywhere, right? Just to have good posture. But I took that in. I wasn't trying to take away from anybody else. I'm not trying to be vain. I'm not trying to, right? And then there was keeping my head down, especially with the ex there. Keeping my head down. Don't make eye contact with anybody because he might think that, ugh, we got something going or something, right? Learned that from my mother, too. My mother went through that, and I had a full understanding because my mom and the Bob father had split because he believed she had an affair. And then it was an affair with everybody, anybody she looked at or talked to or whatever. So then when you try, you make yourself look more suspicious when you're trying not to look suspicious. Oh my goodness, right? That's why we should just be content with ourselves. We're not gonna be looking at it from the outside, right? If you have to prove yourself to somebody, right? And if it's a fight, it ain't right, okay? We try to fight for things. And that's, we've got that all twisted. We need peace and light, love and joy. If it's a fight, it ain't right, okay? Bring your attention to your body, where you're holding tension. Take a few moments to relax. Be content with yourself. You don't need others' approval then. And when you accept yourself, hey, world accepts you, because this is, this is who I am, right? Accept yourself. We're not gonna try and change and adapt, because we're gonna love ourselves just the way we are. And if somebody wants us to change, oh hey, are they loving us unconditionally? Oh, I don't think so. I think our relationships should help set us free, right? Like I've shared before, friends are there to point out our flaws and stuff, remind us of all those things that we love, right? When you're with a, a divine partner or a true partner or a healthy relationship, we reflect the good qualities back to each other and we support each other when we see in our own self that we want this to change. You know, I love you no matter what, but hey, I'm here to support you with that, you know, because I'm going to love you, right? I'm going to love you through all your changes, all your deaths, your rebirths and you know, that's exciting. You know, it's about growing together, right? See how I did that? Growing together. We're still, we're still, right? Look how those trees grow together and twist and entwine, but they're still, 
their own beings. So we... I don't know. That's all I said. I don't know. Is it a pipe dream? I don't think so. Because I've seen that in couples that respect and honor each other. And they're both giving, right? They're not. The relationship isn't something that fulfills them. It's there to, to help. It complements each other, right? And helps both to expand and feel free, right? That's what true healthy relationship should be. And only relationships, loving and otherwise, right? Help us to grow. Help us to grow. Not to dim our lights. Not to go, oh my goodness, you're shining too bright. You better dim down. Oh, I like in the bold invisible. Oh, she says, do we go tell God to dim down? Uh, God, you're shining a little bright. Um, can you tone it down a little bit? You're making us all a little insecure over her. Right? No, let's be responsible for our own insecurities. And hey, if we don't like how bright someone, someone's shining, how about we amp, amp up our light too? Right? No competition. We all got a right to shine. There's enough room for us all here. Okay. That one popped out. And they told him to go with that. Oh, see, it's starting to get a little tired here, but I was just noticing, like, I'm not even... My body's totally responding to these somatics. It's releasing and feeling safe with me. Because I pushed it so hard for everybody else, right? Standing people. See, we're all different, but we're here. Like the trees. They're all separate, but they don't go, oh, my goodness. Like, where's your pine cones? All you got is those apples. Like, hello. If you're a tree, you need to have pine cones. Otherwise, you're just not a tree. I don't know. What is that for you? But they all get along. And, the, and and their root systems, they all help to nourish each other and support each other. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, right? Natural systems. And that confrontations, the wild boar confronting in ourselves. In ourselves. The warriors would go out with just a knife and they'd have to go confront that wild boar, right? It's, it's confronting our fears. Right? We don't need to go head on. We don't go, oh my goodness, I fear jumping off the CN Tower, so I'm going to go do it and face that fear. No. Like, some fears are there to keep us safe. All right? So, we will know when we tap in and we listen to our body's signals. Right? This is, this is uh, GPS here on Earth, I guess. <laughs> what is that for you? Right? We have to heal heal that disconnection we felt from our bodies. We disconnect from our bodies. We go living in our heads. We think about everything. We need to drop down and feel it. What are we feeling? Are we feeling content with ourselves? Is there something upset? What, 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 needs, what needs that healing? What tensions needs to be released? Look at that. Five, ten. Right? And, and we have support and allies. That's, that's why, right? Those friends and those loves, we keep those ones that are allies and support not the ones that are just like ah, 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 and keep encouraging fighting and fighting and fighting because you know what we don't need to fight okay we just need to shine our lights the time for fighting is done we have enough because that's a diversion the fighting is what keeps us diverted fears and fighting keep us diverted and you know what the ones that want to control us will keep us fighting amongst ourselves right i had that the uh those narcissistic people will keep feeding those little, even if you just have a little disagreement with somebody or whatever, there might be a little bit, but uh, they'll keep feeding that until it becomes a great big wedge in between you, right? My mother and I didn't have a perfect relationship before the ex came along. I had my rose-colored glasses, but he got in there and fed that so much that my mother supports him. She just dropped my daughter off to me today, there for the week while he's on holidays. Yes, he's struggling so much. His son had to take him away for holidays, the poor guy. The poor guy. Mm. Anyways, I'm getting to that point where I am happy with me. I'm loving myself, and that's what we need to do, right? Because that's when those things get in. When we're, when we're hard on ourselves, then we let all that other negative stuff come in, too. Because, like, yeah, yeah, they see it, too. That's it. They see it, too. So then we start confirming, oh, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at the other way. Look for that positive stuff. Find the people in your life that share what's good about you instead of, oh, you know what your problem is, okay? We can figure that out on our own. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Big as heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do because you know what this world needs you to be you, fully, holy, and true. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Right on. Let's go make this a wonderful, blessed day. Let's go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. Mwah. Love you all.